Hey, it's Chantel. I'm at the shop today and I wanted to help answer one of the questions I hear most often, which is, should I buy the Malibu 23 LSV or the Nautique G23? All right, before I really dive in, I just wanna say both of these are awesome boats. Honestly, whichever one you go with, you're gonna be stoked. I can confidently say that these are the two best 23 foot boats on the market. Um, part of that has to do with the surf system, part of it has to do with some of the, the inner workings of the boat, uh, but I would gladly put either one of these boats up against any of the competition. They are, they're both awesome. One of the things that sets these two boats apart from the competition the most is how they get their surf weight. So all the other brands on the market are using a trim tab system, which is designed to tilt the boat from one side to the other. And uh, it, it works. You can get a really great surf wake that way, but the way that Malibu and Nautique do it, you're going to get a much more consistent wake every time you go out and your riding is going to be a lot nicer. So for driving the boat, riding in the boat, you're not tilted from side to side. When you're not weighted and you're not surfing, it's not designed to tip. It doesn't feel tippy while you're driving the boat. So it's a much more comfortable ride and drive. All right, so Malibu Surf Wake, they use a combination of ballast, the Power Wedge 3, and Surfgate to get a really long, very, very adjustable wake. This wake is going to be awesome if you have multiple riders and multiple sizes and ability levels and it, it is push of a button you can have a completely different wake for somebody that weighs 60 pounds and somebody that weighs 300 pounds and it happens just like that with the nauti you've got the nss surf system or the nss tabs and the ncrs plate that do help adjust a little bit the wake but this wake is going to be massive and powerful always it's a really big crisp lip wake and it's always going to have a ton of power uh, benefits to both right if you have a wide variety of people in your crew this is going to be really really adjustable and you can change it on the fly with this one with the nautique you will you can get a super pro level wake but it is a little bit harder to tone it down because it's such a massive boat and the way it's designed the wake is really powerful even if you're draining a little bit of ballast and even if you adjust the weight or just the the ncrs plate one of the biggest differences between these two boats is the transom the way that they set it up with the nautique you have a walkthrough so instead of having the full sun deck pad they have a walkthrough which, which makes it easy for riders to get in and out of the boat uh, when you open up those storage compartments there's a ton of storage back there you can put boards back there there's a rope hanger uh, it, it makes it really easy for riders to access a lot of gear in the back of the boat uh, the there's a flip up cooler back there that you can open up and have some drinks on the back of the boat uh, it is a it's definitely a nice design and something people really like is having that walkway through it on the malibu you have the full sun deck pad on the back so rather than having the walkthrough they've given you kind of a layout area back there somewhere where you can lounge they also have these cool transom seats that are cushy if you have people swimming if you're helping a little kid get on a wakeboard uh, or helping them set their feet you have a place to sit back there it's nice and comfortable uh, these seats open up so you do have some storage back there you could put drinks back here if you wanted malibu uses this this spot as ballast bags so you have your hard tanks and then you have your plug and play ballast you can still throw some gear on top of there but the majority of the storage in this boat isn't in these two compartments Benefits of the walkway, obviously if you have lots of riders coming in and out of the boat on the Nautique, that's going to be ideal, right? You're not going to have people stepping over the vinyl. If you have a lot of little kids, if you like to just hang out and lounge, the Malibu is a better fit probably. You have The kids are going to crawl over the back of the boat anyway, they're probably not walking through the walkway uh, and it, it is more comfortable if you're just kind of lounging around back there. You've got the seats on the back and you've got the, the full sun deck. This is a good segue to talk about storage. Both of these boats have a ton of storage. It's just in different locations. Uh, with the Malibu, 
Most of the storage is going to be in the main cabin of the boat. Underneath the seats, they have nice deep storage compartments. They don't have any walls or barriers in the storage compartment. So you could fit skis, you could fit boards, you can fit quite a bit of gear inside and basically in just the main cabin of the boat. You do have the warming tray up above the engine that you could throw some ropes or vests or a, a wetsuit or anything like that in there. Uh, you have a little bit of storage on top of the ballast bags, but most of where you're going to put stuff is inside of inside of the main cabin of the boat. In the Nautique, because it's all subfloor ballast, you do have a big, you have storage up in the bow, you do have storage underneath your passenger seat, a huge storage compartment down there, and you've got a ton of storage in the back of the boat, but the main storage compartments along the side, uh, the port side and the starboard side are gonna be a little more shallow just because of, of where all the ballast is. So tons of storage in the back and in the center of the, the Nautique, most of the storage in the Malibu is going to be along the, the port and the starboard side. One thing I hear a lot is cooler placement. Where's the cooler? That's what everybody wants to know. Um, they are placed in different, different spots in both boats. Uh, the Malibu puts it under the seat behind the driver. There is a special spot for a cooler that you can remove and you can take out and clean out. With the Nautique, it's built into the floor. So you, you do have a removable cooler that you can take out, but there's a, a hatch in the floor. All right, let's talk about screens. The Nautique has the Link Pan Array, which it's one large touch screen, and that's where everything is. That's where your rider controls are gonna be, that's where your stereo is, your lighting inside the boat, your heaters, all of that is controlled by this one screen. It does a lot. You can do things like connect a GoPro to it where when you go faster than seven miles per hour, it's gonna start recording, and when you slow down again, it's gonna stop recording. So you don't have to worry about turning on and off your GoPro. So this screen does a lot of cool stuff, it does take a little bit longer to learn how to use it because it's all encompassing and because there's so much it can do it might take you a little bit longer to learn how to navigate through the screens but then once you've done that it's a killer system the malibu has their uh their command center so they have the big 12 inch touch screen and the small seven inch touch screen they've broken up where you control your your climate and where so your heater and your your driver's seat heater your lighting all of those things and your stereo are on the smaller screen where the big screen is purely rider and driver preferences uh how your wake is set up and um where, what your ballast is doing your engine vitals all of that are in that big touch screen so they've broken it up to make it a little bit easier to navigate. It's a much, um, you're gonna be able to sit down and learn this system in about five minutes where the Nautique is gonna take you a little bit longer. Across the G series for 2019, the power tower comes standard. Such an awesome feature if you have to put the tower down every single time you use a boat or if you're putting the tower down by yourself, it's uh, super easy to use. It also comes standard with swivel board racks. They're the pitchfork style board racks, so the board's set in vertically and then it clamps down on top of it. Tower speakers on this tower are up at the top of the tower, so uh, it is nice and tall, easy to walk under, but they are up at the top of the tower. The bimney top on this boat is really, really easy to deploy. You pull the boot off and then the wings flip out. You put two bars in and it's out. It, it takes hardly any time at all. It's nice and big when it's open and you have surfboard storage on the top. On the Malibu tower, they give you two options. You can get the standard G3.5 tower or you can upgrade to the G10 power tower. The G3.5 tower, the standard, comes with swivel board racks, but they're the bungee style, or you can upgrade to clamping racks, racks if you'd like to. The G10 power tower does come standard with clamping racks. On both towers, the speakers are going to be put over to the side. So if you're a really tall person, you have a lot, a lot more clearance um, walking under the tower. Overall, the G23 comes with more options standard. So power tower is standard, the clamping board racks are standard. Uh, but, but maybe you're the, you're the person who never has to put their tower down, which is awesome. And then you're, you would be paying for a tower that you wouldn't necessarily need, where the Malibu gives you the option. If you don't want the power tower, save some money. Don't use it. If you never put your tower down, it's not important. Uh, it, it gives you, the Malibu overall, I'd say, gives you more, uh, more customizability with which options you do and don't have. You can start from scratch and put on more or less options, where... Maybe it's nice to you that the G23 just comes standard with all of this stuff and you just don't have to pay more for it. Uh, you don't have to add more to the price to do it.
Another huge difference in these two boats is the bow. Uh, some people really, really love the pickle fork look, the feel. They have a lot of people who like to sit up front where the G23 is gonna be a better fit for that. It has more space up front. You can get the optional bow cushion uh, to give you a little more, more of a playpen feel up there, or you can have the walkway straight through. It has flip up armrests that are an option. You can add those if you'd like to. And then it has storage up underneath the seat. It's a nice, big, comfortable bow. The Malibu is a traditional bow. It's more, not only is it more traditional feeling and a more traditional look, but it's, it's not quite as spacious up there. More of your space is going to be towards the back of the boat. So two people comfortably up here. Um, because they put some ballast up underneath the seat and the batteries up in the bow, there's no storage up underneath, but you still have access to the storage compartment underneath the passenger seat and a small one um, in front of the driver. Honestly, both bows are rad. It just depends on how you use your boat. Nobody ever goes up into the bow. Really doesn't matter. If you like the look of traditional bow, awesome. If you like the look of pickle fork, great. They're both really nice and comfortable. It's just a matter of what, what one you like better and what is a better fit for how you use the boat. So one of the other big differences between these boats is obviously the hull design. Uh, the Nautique G23 is a displacement hull. It is designed not to plane on top of the water, but to plow through the water. Uh, it's a much taller, there's tall gunnels, it's a really deep, heavy boat, and it, it really is just gonna plow through the water. What that does for the driver is you have very, very little bow rise, if any. It's, you have a better line of sight as the driver, so it is going to be, you could sit flat without having to use the bolster and you're gonna be able to see really well even when you're surfing. So the Malibu is designed um, as a traditional planing hole. They also give you the option that you can get a wake hole or a diamond hole. The diamond hole is great. It's just a small change on the back of the boat on the chines where when you get up to, uh, up to ski speeds, the back of the boat has a little more lift to it. So it gives you a softer wake to cut through on a water ski where the wake hole for wakeboarding is gonna give you a little more of a crisp lip. So depending on how you plan to use the boat, they give you two options. Uh, it's not going to be the best ski wake you've ever had, but it's going to be a lot softer to cut through on a slalom ski than it would be um, definitely on the G23 or any other boat that's going to be a wake boat. The last thing I want to talk about is pricing. The G23 is a more expensive boat. Part of that is to do with how much comes standard on it. Uh, it, it is really, really well equipped, just standard but at the end of the day, it's, it's just a more expensive boat. So that leaves us with, which boat do you choose? At the end of the day, the only person's opinion that matters is yours. No amount of video online, no amount of salesperson telling you so, no amount of your friends said this, matters as much as when you sit in the driver's seat and get a feel for the boat, when you ride behind it and love or don't love the wake, when you walk into it in the showroom and it just feels good. I would recommend getting out on both boats. If you're really trying to decide between the two, get a feel for both of them on the water. For me, I would pick the Malibu because I like being able to adjust the wake on the fly for multiple different sizes and levels of riders that works better for my crew. I would like the idea of being able to build up the boat exactly how I'm going to use it. And that to me is, is really valuable. There's a lot that we didn't cover. If you have questions uh, about specific things, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Contact your local dealer if you wanna get out on the water in these boats. Uh, but that's, that's the best place to start, in the showroom and then on the water. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.